Welcome back to Asia Edge. Now, another important vote taking place this morning. Australia's lower house of parliament has passed the controversial carbon tax. A plan proposed by Prime Minister Julia Gillard will now face an upper house vote next month. Let's get the story from our clean energy reporter, Kobat Bednagri, who joins us in Sydney. And first off, Kobat, how significant is this move? Well, Susan, this is actually very significant. The issue of carbon pricing has been one of the uh, most vexing and important political issues of the last five years. It's really dominated the, the political discourse in Australia. It's, we've seen two prime ministers lose their jobs as well as two opposition leaders. So Julia Gillard has, uh, has achieved a bit of a coup here by finally getting this legislation through the lower house of parliament. Economically, it's a very big deal for Australia. Uh, there's been a lot of uncertainty. Businesses have not been able to invest in uh, long-run uh, technology and assets. And so carbon pricing uh, should give them the framework to be able to have some certainty there. Uh, Australia has a very emissions-intensive economy. Uh, in fact, the most emissions-intensive in, in the developed world. So Australia really needs to do something to get on top of this for its long-term competitiveness. And uh, carbon pricing uh, looks to be the, the move in the right direction. Okay, so this vote passes through the lower house. What about now up to the upper house? Does it uh, have enough legs to get passage as well? Yeah, it, it, it does. The, the government and their crossbench allies, the Greens, have the, uh, the majority in the upper house, the Senate. So the legislation is expected to pass without incident there, really, in November. Once that happens, it'll be ratified into law and the carbon pricing scheme will start on the 1st of July next year with a fixed price of $23. Uh, it'll, it'll have a fixed price for three, uh, for three years and escalate uh, with inflation and 2.5% and, uh, above that. And in 2015, then the scheme moves to a floating price, an emissions trading scheme where the market decides what the price of carbon will be. All right, so Kobat, thank you for that. Kobat Bevnagri, a clean energy reporter with a story from Sydney. Let's turn to some other headlines also involving commodities with China and Russia close to concluding a major gas deal which has been delayed for several years by arguments over prices. Russian Prime Minister Vladimir Putin met up with his Chinese counterpart Wen Jiabao at the start of a two-day visit to China. Now, an initial deal between the two were signed on gas supplies back in 2009, but then Putin said that uh, this agreement has been delayed because of the, uh, these price disputes.